Hello my creative friends! Olga from Smart Art Materials here and in a previous video I told you about interview with acrylic pouring influencer that's gonna be posted on this channel soon and I gave you a hint about who this is going to be with and yes, 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 <laughs> all of you were right and it's going to be Rinsky. Hi Rinsky! Oh, it's so good to have you here! It's, I'm so excited to see you, I'm very happy to have you, to have you in my virtual studio today for this interview. Welcome to Smart Art Materials! Thank you! I'm happy to be here as well and to be your first interview, so I really like that. So, one week from now, on Friday, May 17th, I'm gonna post an interview with Rinsky Dona. And if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. At the beginning of this month, I posted a challenge in my Facebook group and this month it's a rainbow swipe. And yesterday Rinsky posted a video of her doing this challenge. And a couple days ago she did a blindfolded pour and she challenged me to give it a try. So this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna put the scarf on my eyes and I'm not gonna see anything and hopefully will not turn this entire studio into disaster. Alright guys, I have everything ready. Today you're gonna see me pouring from a different angle. Usually I film from the top, but today I want you to see everything that I'm doing with this blind pour. So I have all of my colors here ready. I have hair dryer here. I have my spatula. I have my husband Alex. He's hiding behind the camera, but he's gonna help me a little maybe and make sure I don't make too much mess and don't burn this whole thing when I use a torch. And yeah, I think I'm ready to get started. All right, so I'm gonna put this over my eyes. So make it all nice and fair. Oh, okay. I think I dipped a little tip of it in the paint, so now I already have a paint on it. Oh well. I have paint everywhere on all my clothes, so that's okay. All right, can't see anything, and I'm gonna get started. So, first, I'm gonna apply the black base, and this is my canvas. I really don't know how much to apply, so probably I'm gonna be adding too much, but that's okay. Because how do you know when to stop, right? And now, I think this is the hardest part. Alex tell me he's gonna help me. Uh, to spread this paint around the canvas. Like... And you know what? Usually I listen to music when I pour. But today I'm gonna be talking through the entire pour. I don't know, I just want to be commenting and sharing with you guys. This is so odd, like I have no idea which parts are already covered and which are not. But I kind of can feel by the way spatula flows, if it's on a dry spot or if it's already on the paint. All right. So just keep on working. And today I'm working on a long canvas and with black base. And I don't know. I'm probably going to have to speed up this process because it takes me a little while.
right, I don't know if it's good enough, but I'm gonna stop now. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands, have a little, actually it's not a towel, it's all short. Now pick the colors, I'm gonna do four colors and all of my colors here. So let this be the first one. It's pretty empty, so probably this is a color I like. <laughs> okay. I want to blow to the bottom and then I'll blow away from myself. It's so odd, I can't see where I'm blowing. Am I even reaching the canvas? How much to add? I have no idea. I'm going to put it away so I don't pick the same color twice. Doing some magic picking. Okay, this one. Alex, do I like this color? I like it. You like it, good. <laughs> okay. I have no idea which part of the canvas I'm reaching. All right. Oh, it's pretty full, so probably not my favorite, but that's okay. Oh, is it new? Oh, okay. Okay, not too much of this one. And last one. It's pretty full. All right, should be good. And I have black here I am going to try and add some black around okay hope it's good <laughs> okay I have paint all over me Print. Now, drying. Blow dryer. So what I want to do, I want to blow paint first a little towards me, then away from myself. Probably I'm just gonna get the paint all over me right now. much harder than it looks because I have no idea whether I did move paint at all. Uh, Alex, maybe bring the camera a little closer so now I'm just gonna try and blow a little. Okay. Did I move paint at all around the canvas? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Closer to you have more paint. Yeah. Closer yeah, to me? Yeah, yeah. More, okay. But on the other side. Okay. Funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I'm dizzy from all the blowing. Oh, should I do a little more or should I stop? More. 
more. Okay, in the center or in the sides? Center. Center, okay. Okay, I feel like stopping, should I? Okay, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take the scar off and we'll see. Now, uh, blow from the other side. From the other side? Yeah. So you're saying that I have a lot of paint here? Yeah, and I'll blow that I don't know, I don't want to overwork it. You know, okay guys, if I take the mask off, then I, I might want to do a couple touch-ups, so that's okay. Oh, I'm very excited to see it, and... Oh, oh! Oh, that's interesting. Wow. I really like the color choice. <laughs> so I have, oh, I have metallic, I have gold here. You can't go wrong with the gold. And this is cobalt blue and some sort of red and purple. Oh my God, such a great color choice. So I see I want to move paint around here. Oh, I missed a spot here. So I'm gonna cover that. Oh, I'm pretty happy. Okay, you should bring it a little closer for the close up. See that I have something. Oh, what was it? Oh, I use some teal color too. All right, need to do a couple covers ups. Probably have my mascara all over me too <laughs> from the scarf. Oh, something. Sometimes it's a dried paint or something. So just pick it up with my painting knife. And I really like those cells right here. Okay, then I'll do a little blob in here. Okay. See that my color is really overmixed along the edges, but I like this center part. Very cool. I think I'm gonna stop right here. Oh, torching, yeah, just about forget. I'm going to torch it out. And I think I'm going to keep this one because I like it. You like it? Good. I'm surprised that I picked really good colors. They work very well together. No green, so that's good because I'm. Oh, see, I have all the colors here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Should know better, <laughs> but because this is so pretty, like this color. Okay, you should come a little closer and show it. Actually, I'm. I'm gonna take a couple pictures to show the close-ups. All right, guys. Uh, let me know what you think and if you give this technique a try and if you give this challenge a try share it in our facebook group smart dark materials and share it on instagram with the hashtag that you see on your screen right now and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video happy boring and have a nice day bye bye